Hello Capricorn, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. Be open to anything. Don't have any expectations here. Your soul may, may differ from your usual type and expectations. So there we go. I, I said the word before I knew it was there. Keep an open mind. Somebody could show up here that you wouldn't normally. It's not normally your type. This is about battling with yourself here. This is about finding a compromise. Keep an open mind because, yeah, you've been through challenges here. There's been battles. Choose your battles carefully. You've maybe had to find a compromise to move on here, but and there's somebody new coming in that might not normally be your type. So don't let past experiences, what's went on in the past, affect how you see the present. Definitely not. The King of Cups, we'll see what this is. The Ace of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. Now, there's going to be communication here from somebody. It could be a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy. But this is a very mature person. It might not be your usual type of person, but it's somebody who is very genuine and loving. So, like I say, if there's been challenges in the past and you've had to find compromises all the time, this is maybe a better fit for you. This person is very loving and caring. They don't necessarily express their feelings, but they definitely feel them. So there's going to be information coming in or some sort of communication. So you have to keep an open mind about this person because they're somebody that wants to start to lay solid foundations with you. Like I say, they're emotionally mature and they know what they want in life. They also know, and you also know, through what you've been through in the past, the kind of things, what you need to work on. Uh, to build the foundations to make a relationship work here. You've learned from past experiences. So use your past experiences and the challenges you've been through to guide you here. Yeah, you're overthinking this eight of swords. Scorpio energy. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. The Ten of Cups. Yeah. I mean you're overthinking things over this person that's coming forward. You're getting in your own road here. Keep an open mind. Don't get yourself into a tiz about this. Give this a chance, most definitely, because this communication and this insight, what they bring to your life as well, the good communicator, you might not be used to somebody that's a good communicator here as well, but there's going to be a lots of discussions in your relationship, and that's what's going to be the difference here. You're going to be able to talk to this person and work through things, which is maybe something you couldn't do in the past. And like I say, that's how your solid foundations are going to be laid. And there's going to be lots of benefits for you, your family and your soul tribe. This is blessings after challenges. Every relationship is going to have its challenges. Don't worry about that. You've been in challenging things in the past, but this is going to be very different. This is very different. This is a total change. So, you know, if we do things the same way all the time in life and we attract the same kind of people, we're going to get the same results. So maybe you're needing to keep an open mind about how you want who you want to be with, the type of person you want to be with, because they find you very attractive and they want to come in here, definitely. You might want to do a bit of soul searching, but it's going to end all your disappointments. Your challenges and disappointments are over. You were done before. You were done before. But this is a new opportunity with a far more um, romantic type. There's going to be a lot more romance in this relationship for you. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.